Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? I do think that when body cameras were originally rolled out, um, there were people who thought that police body cameras were gonna be a game changer and that they were gonna really change uh, the dynamics between the police and the public in interactions because the police were now being watched. Oh, oh. Oh. I don't care. Okay, well. Get your hands behind your back! To the extent that people thought they were gonna be a game changer, they have not lived up to that. But I think to the extent that people realistically thought that they might provide a little bit more information and a little bit more transparency, um, I think they have done that. Uh, but clearly that has been overshadowed uh, by the major, major problems with policing and criminal justice in this country. And so if you have police body camera footage that the police get to determine when and if the public sees it, then body cameras really go from being a police transparency and accountability tool to something more of a propaganda tool, which is to say the police are going to release the good footage and the exculpatory footage, but the footage that makes them look bad, they're going to resi resist releasing, which is largely what has happened. One of the things that the ACLU advocates for is anytime there is a police use of force or a complaint made against the police, that that video footage should be made available to the public very quickly.